call whether it's intentional or accidental is our primary consideration. So, uh, as a general uh, SOP. We, even before we do the exercise, we already know that combined operations is inherently hard, difficult because you're dealing with two different organizations, two different cultures, and uh, it is good that we share almost the same doctrines when it comes to when it comes to war fighting. So the challenges were already predetermined by us, and that is what we were working through. Uh, what you witnessed a while ago, if you saw in the screen, the presence of the combined uh, uh, combined information effects fusion center, that is actually what we were practicing. It is very easy to pull the trigger on a weapon system. And that is not what we were demonstrating a while ago. What we were demonstrating is our ability to operate at the operational level, at the joint and combined level, for our general and their general to come together and execute a combined operation under all the littorals at this at this level and uh, from that the initiation of the president is what we came out with that is, uh, when training at the joint combined partnership level the vastness and complexity of technological systems weapon systems component services from army marines air force navy even coast guard assets all the way up to special operations forces there's a lot of coordination deconfliction that must happen. You copy that, you copy that, that with increased technological prowess and ability to communicate across all spectrums and also operate within all levels of war, strategic operational tactics for crisis of conflict to include humanitarian assistance. So learning is always happening. Every time we have the opportunity to train on a large scale element like this, we always take away the learning points more than the successes, because the learning points will allow us to be more successful in the future in our interoperability and our relationship and partnership together uh, for the coming years. Yes, the message that we are trying to send is that the alliance is alive and that uh, we are always challenging ourselves. So uh, one Padikatan is always going to be harder and more complex than the previous Padikatan. And that, that means that uh, in every iteration of Palikatan, we will expect something different. We want to do this because we want to avoid stillness of the exercise. And we also feel the need to challenge uh, ourselves uh, in, in uh, being, able, being able to operate at a different level or a different complexity of the exercise. And trying, uh, trying our hand at doing something that we've never done before. Uh, that is the big challenge that we are trying to do. Uh, because we are trying to exercise also muscles that we do not know we have. So we are uh, to answer the to answer the, the next question is that in uh, every exercise that we do, the objective is really to train. Uh, we train together because we want to take advantage also of our treaty obligations. Uh, if you are going to be ordered to risk your life for your country. You will have to take advantage, take every advantage that is available to you. And the advantage that we have is that we have a treaty, we have, a, we have an obligation to pay. It's very simple. And if I were to put it in layman's terms, the Philippines and the U.S. forces have been in a partnership since the Bataan Death March. From that time, all the way to 38 iterations of al the Philippine forces and U.S. forces have always been allies. And allies in this sense, in a very simple, simplistic way of looking at it, is family. We all know that nothing can break family. And in the culture of the Philippines and in the culture of the United States, sometimes family is everything. You may not see your family every day. You may not talk to your family every day. But when your family calls you, you respond. And in this case, in this family matter, we've been called upon to train together. And we learn from that. That key element of partnership and resolve is far stronger than any other measures of technical prowess, any other measure of exploding targets, or any other measure of offensive and defensive capability. The resolve and partnership is far stronger than any technical element that we have. And that's the true message of Valcatan. 
In translation, shoulder to shoulder. That doesn't mean weapon to weapon. It really means family. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You fire one round first on a low point, and then you calculate the response from the point to the target. So she'll be up to the first fire. But the situation there was that uh, 